So, that is the last speedway of the game, Canyon Speedway. And, <laughs> so, let's get to exploring this uh, winter tundra. Yes. I live in Michigan, I see enough snow. Yes, I know I said that before. What was it, in Colossus, I think? Anyway, so, lots of gems, lots of gems, lots of gems. Okay, is that it? Good. Oh, stop. I see that. Gems! Uh, more gems. Lots more gems. We got about three to four inches of snow and ice rain last night, and it's still. Oh, good grief. We got a lot of. Um. No, that was an accident. That was an accident, midnight. I didn't see him. He, um, blended in with the ground. Oh, goodness. Yeah, you got a secret orb right in that, um, rock there. But, uh, yeah, here, uh, in Michigan, we got a lot of slush and ice and, um, um, <clears throat> a lot of rain, cold, and miserable, dreary. Some, a lot, Spyro, behave yourself. Um, a lot of people, um, um, everyone's, a lot of people are saying do not travel unless it's an emergency or something. You know, some shopping centers have even closed due to the weather, but, uh, yeah. Yes, it was. It was an accident. Um, so yeah, it's really bad out there. Out he up here in the Midwest. So. Alright. In order to get inside the castle, we gotta head past that rock. And I'm already forgetting this, uh, tunnel. So let's see. Good those more ice speaking of ice you doubt that you doubt everything anyway. um so the majority of the portals in uh winter tundra are not working we only have stop it we only have actually two portals that are working um which is part which i wonder if is the inspiration for the next game oh spoiler alert but um yeah, anyway, let's talk to the professor and see what's going on here. Well, it's some consolation that you've collected so many orbs. My high-tech portal here will take you to Cloud Temple. Oh, all right. Another level. I'm so disappointed. My super portal was coming along marvelously. Uh, Spyro, stop it. He's really antsy, isn't he? So, yeah, Cloud Temples. Cloud Temples is... Well, I was going to say my favorite level, but then... No, it's actually my second favorite level. Um, let's see. All right, let's let's just explore the, the, the words. Um, explore the castle. And whirlwind. Here's that portal that's been in so many cutscenes. Uh, I'll look at it in a second. Ah, Robotica Farms. And here's a super portal. Yeah, it's real. Well, in the game it is. Let's see. Oh, and to open Cloud Temples, I think you need 16 orbs. It didn't really say, did it? Or did I skip over it? Anyway. And the professor is, uh, either has a twin or somehow teleported over here. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if he actually teleported. But here's another broken portal. I can see you've learned the value of orbs, Spyro. This touchy gate should work perfectly with the help of your impressive orb collection. Alright. No, it doesn't say. Uh, this is my favorite level in the Winter Tundra, Metropolis. I actually don't remember how many um, orbs you need to unlock the portal. I think it's 20-something. It's a lot. Close to 30, maybe? Um. Yeah. Anyway, uh, okay, so let's sit down here. And look at these stairs. These are steep and narrow. Good thing they provide a whirlwind. That's what this whirlwind go. The okay. breathe. The whirlwind over there. You can't really see it now because we're too far away. We'll just take you up here 
like a little shortcut. Okay, I'm actually going to avoid Alora there, because in order to unlock um, Rivdo's Arena there, you need 40 um, orbs. So I could really go right now and just beat the final boss and just <laughs> skip Winter Tundra here, but no, I won't do that. Um... Yeah. So let's see. Yep. All right, there's our 50th orb. All right, now the last orb is actually a little tricky to find. It's actually next to the Canyon Speedway portal. Um, but to get to it, we have to dot, go into the little hidden lake or moat or something here. Which has a hidden tunnel. Go through here. And here's... And here it is. Alright. This cave is pretty cool though. Hidden waterfall, little stream. And they did provide you with a whirlwind here if you don't want to uh, climb all those stairs again. Huh, that portal looked like it was activated for a second. Anyway. Uh, how many gems are left? Okay, I know where the last of the gems are. Um, I mean, I could get them now. Should I? You know what? I actually will. You're not really supposed to until you... Done everything, well, or at least collected 40 orbs, but. Alright, Spyro! You've got the orb. The feat of Ripto is only moments away, right? Right? No. Well, anyway, good luck. He's right through this door. They have to say, you need 40 orbs. And these are the last of the Winter Tundra gems. Okay, I don't want to walk in too far, else I'll trigger the battle. And there we are! Uh, what time is this at? Only seven minutes. Yeah, this is a, this is a real small level. So, all right. Now the worlds in, um, including the Mystic Marsh, are, are really kind of wacky. Um, in the Winter Tundra here. So let's see what's going on. Okay. Some snails. Oh! Elephant, but what? <laughs> yeah. The, some of the levels in Winter Tantra make absolutely zero sense. Okay, those monkeys are actually really tricky to um, dodge. Really, my the recommended way... What I recommend for those monkeys is just double jump over their... Whatever they're throwing. Yeah, they got flat. So, um... Things just aren't the same since our magic fountain shut off. It sure would help if you could find out what evil force is behind this disaster. I wish I could explain the real significance of the fountain there. But, yeah, anyway, we need 20 enemies defeated to activate the power-up. Um, there's actually three power-ups in this level. They're all the same power-up. There's three gates. Um, so we have 400, yeah, 400 gems and three orbs and 36 enemies. Um, and yeah, watch out for these little rhino snail things. You gotta charge them. So, <clears throat> and this level is actually pretty big too. Oh, there's actually a little reference to I think Insomniac. Um, you can see kind of a face on that coin there. Here, let me turn it around. Probably saw it already, but that's supposed to be like a staff member, I think. Yeah. Or, now former, maybe. It's been years since they released this game. So. Alright, let's see. 
Do all the jets? Okay. I keep thinking those blue spots on the fountain there are, are actually gems. Okay, um, if you don't know how to do the, um, double jump, just keep moving, I guess, and jump up. That looks, that seems to work. Oh, there's those elephant snail things. I don't even know what these enemies are called. Alright. Yeah, this area is huge. Ow. Ah, quit it. I remember those, um... Elephants scared me so bad growing up. <laughs> I'd actually avoid them at all costs. So, I mean... I mean, I, I, I guess they are really scary still, because... I mean... Little snail thing, you... you, you you, you expect a snail or something small. Suddenly when you get close to it, it's a, it's a big giant elephant. Like, oh my goodness. Ugh. Alright. Wow! I saw that in the background. Ugh. It's like staring me down. From all the way over there. Is that all? Okay, yes, it looks like it's all, but... Ah, oh, look! Ducks! Well, that's a lot of gems. Watch out for these, uh, puffer platypuses. Yeah, they'll hurt you if you, um... If you get too close to them while they're, uh, big. So, let's see, is that all? I think so. Alright, and let's go over here. And we will find the, pro the professor for one of two or orb challenges. Ah, Spyro! So glad you're here! I'm perfectly useless without my trusty pencil, and I seem to have lost it. I do have this extra I mean, egg. Uh, perhaps you can trade it for my pencil. Yeah, we get a big trade quest here. And, well, get, I mean, pencils are like 10 cents at the store. Why don't you just go buy another one, first of all? But, um, yeah. So... You have to find where each item goes, and it'll trade you for another item, and then so on and so forth until you get his dang pencil. Um, this egg actually goes to the end of the level. So let's go ahead and get over there. See, am I missing any gems? Nope. Good. I'm not going to worry about um, exploring all the towers just yet. We'll have a chance later. <sighs> okay, still managed heavy. Those things are tough. Ah! At least I killed that one easily enough. Um, okay. Finally, yeah, we got the super jump. There's a nest. We gotta uh, put this egg in the nest. So just pull up, aim right at it, and the bird will drop a seed. It looks just like the seed from uh, the Romeo and Juliet challenge from Zephyr, but now we just take the seed over here to that flower pot there. Okay. I guess you have to aim. Come on, camera. Nope. No. 
Don't throw it off the cliff. This is what not to do. Uh, okay. Notice the um, power up gates have the same design as Colossus's. There we are. And yeah, we get a duck. And guess where that duck goes? First, I'd like to get all the gems up here. Good. Uh, yeah, no. Oh, okay, like a second too late there. So yeah, we gotta go to the end of the river. And it spits out a turnip. Look, it's following its, its uh, mother. So cute. And uh, now this turnip goes into a little bit of a secret-ish area. This area reminds me of Misty Bog. Suddenly. I've really thought about how similar they look. But anyway. Inside this cave, there's gonna be some gems. Uh-huh. What's that, 25 there? And a cauldron. This is where the turnip goes. And then we get a coin. Well, recognize that face? We gotta take this to the fountain. Just spit it in the fountain. Doesn't matter where. Okay, never mind. Yes, it does. Oh. No, it doesn't. Game was being silly there. And then somehow the fountain spits out the professor's pencil. And we just take it back to him. And once you walk in, you'll automatically spit it out. Now I can begin calculating the age of the universe again. Here, take this orb. Alora says she thinks I'm going to lose it. Um, well, I mean, considering you lost your pencil, I don't think I trust you with an orb either. Which is potentially very valuable. <laughs> He's excited. Mm, carry the six. Okay. All right. Now, let's just finally explore the second half of uh, Mystic Marsh here. Uh, there was that one area way over here. Let's see. Oh. Oops, I didn't need the super jump. Just trying to avoid that elephant there. You... Okay. I was gonna say, you look really hard for the high up off the ground there. Okay. Now let's explore the second half of this level. I don't know why they needed a super jump right there. They could have just put in like a step, but oh well, it's there. We have a person. Uh, I'll talk to him in a second, but I noticed- I just noticed that balloon there. Uh... There's the end of the level. Ah, no. You know what, I'd like to get all the gems first. Uh, okay, there are none down here. Yeah, but up here, there are. Uh, oh, give me. Is that it? Mm, let me check again. Yep, that was it. Got a little clipping issue I saw there. Alright, gems, gems. 
Shinies. Look at all this goo. Yeah. Uh, I know there's two tunnels like this. Okay, it looks like that's all of them. Okay. This is the area I was looking for. Uh, yes. There we are. Gems. Okay. Oh, I'm going to hurt myself. And down here, too. And looks like that's it down here. Again, this level is so big. It's a little hard to tell if you've missed something or not. Uh, sparks, which way? Okay, you pointed. Oh, I know what you're pointing. Okay. So now, the final orb challenge of Mystic Marsh. We have to talk to that guy up there with the broken down car. How he got a car up there, I have no idea, but. Ah, Spyro, a friendly face. A bunch of rotten thieves have stolen the spark plugs, and I'm stuck here. Please get the poor plugs back. Alright. Yeah, and they're not the same thieves as, the, as before. They're not even the Spyro 1 thieves. They're a little different. And, um... I don't know, can I... catch him going this way? I might be able to. One of them, or two of them, you definitely have to go a certain direction. Or else... Just like in Shady Oasis, they'll be, they'll be jumping up tall cliffs and... So again, just, again, just like in Shady Oasis... Ooh! Cutting corners is um, the best way to go. So, okay, so that's the first one. The second one is in the tunnel over here. And he's a little tougher to catch. Not the hardest. There he is. What, are, what, what even is that? Is that supposed to be like a flying squirrel or something? Yeah, and. Again, just try. There we are. Try and cut corners there. And, uh, he'll be good. Next one, which I think is the hardest one, is right up there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, yeah, that's the reflex. So, let's see. Yeah, this is why I didn't explore that tower immediately. Okay, so that spiral tower, we just. I just, um. Went up. That's kind of your best chance to catch up with the um, thief. As you can see, I miserably failed, failed there. And uh, as you also probably saw, that was the last of the gems, so don't have to worry about them anymore. Okay, so again, just try and cut it as close as you can without. Oh, wow, okay. I actually caught him. He's usually really tough, but anyway. The easiest one, however, is right here. <coughs> so he just goes around in a, like a figure eight. So again, just cut corners and you'll be good. Wahoo! I'm back in business. Here, young dragon friend, take this. It's museum quality, but you deserve it. Yay, orb. Alright. Now let's finish the level. What? Oh, hmm. I must have dozed off there. Golly, looks like I let the fountain switch off. Here, take this orb. Oh, so he's now, that evil. Don't mention my little nap to Hydra, okay? Sure, why not? 
Yeah, instead of talismans, you just get orbs for completing a level anymore. So... I wonder why they decided not to give Winter Tundra talismans. Hmm. I've always been curious to see if they if they did make talismans for Winter Tundra. I've always been curious to see what they would look like. <laughs> He's falling asleep again. <laughs> Being beat on. <laughs> uh, anyway. All right. And that is the Mystic March done.